For practice it, exercise 1.2 Spikey, we are asked to write a complete Java program in a class named Spikey that prints the following output. To do this, first we are going to make a class. It's going to be public class Spikey with a bracket, a beginning bracket, and a closing bracket. Inside of it, we're going to have our main methods. It's going to be public static void main, and we're going to have a string args inside of, it, inside of it, and then we'll have a starting bracket for that and a closing bracket for it. Inside of here, we will have our system.out.println statements. So we can have this written out like this. And we have multiple lines. We have one line here, one line here, one here, here, and here. So we actually have six lines of output. So we can paste this in six times. And in doing this, we're just going to save ourselves a whole lot of typing. Usually if this was in an IDE, it would be a lot easier since there's shortcuts for um, the system.out.println. So once we have all six written down, we can start writing our code. If we highlight over this, it looks like there's two spaces here. So we can have two spaces like this. We are going to have a backslash. Remember every backslash in our code is, um, we need two backslashes in our code for one backslash of output. So we're gonna have this and then like that. And then our next line looks like we have one space. So we'll have a space like this and then we have two backslashes, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, and then two forward slashes. Next line of code, we doesn't doesn't look like we have any space, so we'll just have six backslashes for three backslashes in our output, and three forward slashes. Next line of code, we have three forward slashes, and then we have three backslashes. So that's how that looks. And then our next line, we it looks like we have the space, and then we have two forward slashes, and then two backslashes, so four backslashes in our code. And then here, we, it looks like we have two spaces. We have a forward slash and then a single backslash. If we submit this, we have passed the test and have gotten the same exact output.